Hello everybody and welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Flynn and before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which I am creating and streaming from today and pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. Um, what's up? It's a solo stream today. So we are jumping on the back of the hype that is generative fill. Um, for Photoshop. So uh, you may have seen some of the content around uh, Twitter, Instagram. My whole feed is blowing up about it. And it's uh, basically Firefly and sort of machine learning coming into Photoshop in this big way, um, in this big tool. And it's the first of many, which is which is pretty exciting. Um, so we're just going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to explore and uh, look at the tool now, look at what it's doing today, um, see some of the the ways that people in the community have been um, using the tool. It's always great to see uh, what the intention of the tool was and then you actually get it in the hands of like this big wide creative community and all the crazy stuff that they're doing. Um, I certainly couldn't anticipate what some of the folks had come up with. So we're gonna try and emulate a little bit of that here. We are live on Behance uh, and on YouTube. If you've got questions, um, I might need some help with some of the prompts as we're coming along. Uh, that would be great. Um, we will see. So um, let's let's just jump into it. So um, so this is in Photoshop beta, just to be super clear. And just in case this is the first time that someone's seeing it, I'm just gonna do one or two quick demos and then we'll talk a little bit more about how you get it and things like that. This is a really cute picture of a dog. Um, and something that comes up all the time, this has happened throughout my career of dealing with, um, working with uh, like, uh, design celebrities and creating events and working with, you know, what we call influencers these days, creators and artists and things like that. They send you headshots and they're not uniform at all. Like some of them will be, um, you know, black and white. So you might need to colorize them a little bit, or sometimes they'll be really cropped in. Uh, sometimes people are looking to the side and things like that. Um, but more often than not, it's the aspect ratio um, that is a cute puppy dog. I know it's so good. You just get to like find cute images of dogs and it uh, does so much. Let's zoom in on a little porcelain fellow here. Um, and um, yeah, but so often you'll sort of get cut off. So, you know, if, if you took a screenshot of my head now, we've got this horizontal ratio, but if all the others are portrait, you have this huge issue. Um, that's no longer a thing, uh, thanks to generative AI. So what we're gonna do here is our first little demo and I'm just doing this in the order of things that I think are kind of crazy. We're just gonna stretch this. So let's say we needed something that was a lot closer to a square. Um, you know, what would we normally do in, in the past is, you know, we would have to letterbox it something like this. Um, yeah, there's just not, not a lot of options, but what we can, what we can do now um, there's lots of ways to do it. I'll show you two ways. We're just going to select using our marquee tool. Another way that we can do it, just holding down shift, um, is to select these lines. And um, if you haven't seen this yet, uh, I hope you're sitting down because it's pretty wild. Um, hey, Misty and Johanna in chat. Great to have you um, with me. It's so weird. So used to saying with us, uh, but it's been a while since I've done a solo stream. So I'm going to do that a bit. Um, so that did nothing, which is not impressive. Um, but there, that's much closer to it. I think I've selected it like terribly. Um, so let's try that again. I'm just going to hide this one and let's go like this. We're going to cover it a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help a bit. Um, so this is a new toolbar as well. So which you can see over here and generative fill. So this prompt area is exactly the same sort of prompt as you would get in Adobe Firefly, but it's now in Photoshop. Uh, let's try this again. I hope the first one that I do live stream actually works because it worked before I went live. <laughs> oh dear. Let's go puppy dog. You can do it buddy. There we go. Okay, so it took an extra prompt, um, but that is pretty wild. So let's just talk about the last 20 years of Photoshop and like what is actually happening here. So it's kind of mind blowing. And when I first saw it, I thought it's not that big a deal, but actually the more I think about it, the more this change really does change everything. Um, so everything outside of that photo doesn't exist. Uh, and my understanding of it is that the machine learning uh, through Firefly is interpolating what is in the image and also the LLM, like the, the learning resource, the algorithms um, within Adobe Firefly to recreate uh, the rest of the image. 
um, from nothing. So everything on the outside doesn't exist. It's not in, it's not in the image. So um, the AI, the machine learning is doing such a great job. You can see it's not perfect. There's like a couple of things there. Um, but look at these rocks. So it's, it's not just copying it's not just copying kind of what's over here on the right and putting it over here. It's combining understanding what's happening in the image and um, and recreating it on the side. It's kind of it's kind of wild. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, so uh, one of the main questions that's been coming up, I've seen a lot when people are sharing kind of the Photoshop beta content, is that it is beta. So this is public. So it's public beta. Um, and if you look up at the top of my screen, you'll see that it says Photoshop in brackets beta. If you want to play around with this today, you can. Um, as long as you have a Creative Cloud subscription, go to your Creative Cloud um, applet app uh, and um, you want to type in Photoshop uh, and beta. So you can see I've already done it. If you just type in Photoshop, it'll bring it up and then you can download uh, Photoshop. We're not going to do that. We've already done it. Um, but you can check it out. But there's actually another way that you can um, use some of this and is that is by going to adobe.firefly.com. And if you go there, uh, if you've been there before, you'll notice that some of these things have been updated. Um, so since Firefly has launched, there's two more things. So it launched with text to image, I should say, um, and text effects. But now uh, we've also have re uh, generative recolor um, and we also have generative fill here. Um, so you can actually use it straight from the browser, which is pretty wild. Um, so we're gonna try this example. I haven't done this before, um, but we want to, I guess we wanna select this um, and replace it with a um, evil uh, EVIL looking tower. I have not done this yet, so this may not work at all, <laughs> but uh, let's see how we go. Don't seem to have a progress bar here, but um, but there's, that's pretty cool. Um, so just like in sort of text to image, you end up with a couple of different options. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, can we zoom in on that? So it's giving you a couple, giving me a couple of options um, of of this tower. Um, of that one's pretty pretty great. And then you could just download the image and go for it. So it's pretty sweet. Um, so if Photoshop's not your jam and you still want to play around, you can even generate images with text to image um, and then put them into generative fill as well. So um, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Um, we are going to jump through back into Photoshop, however, and it's going to drag this into our Photoshop. We'll say goodbye to our dog for now. We might, we might make it back. Um, and this is the second thing that I think is pretty wild, um, is you can add to your images as well using generative fill. So what we're going to do, and I, I'm happy to take some suggestions uh, for what we do here, um, but I think we're going to think about maybe adding in some elements here. So what if um, this, this photo required uh, maybe a beach house? And I don't know if that's going to translate terribly well. Um, maybe a hut might have been better. <laughs> We're going to get some McMansion thing out here. We'll see. Um, but what uh, what what could we add to this beach image? Like what in your wildest dreams could we add in? We've got a lot of sky. We've got a lot of... Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, so it's kind of like this is pretty wild um, what has happened here. So... This is our little beach hut. Um, it did not exist a moment ago. Um, this one's looking a little bit like it's trying to put it behind uh, the, the sand as if it was a bit of a sand dune, so it doesn't look quite right. Um, but we have these other options. Um, and this one seems to have merged it within the sand like much better. Um, and I think this one's, this one's kind of cool as well. It's halfway between like a lifeguard tower and a water tower or something. Um, but I think that one's pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty wild. So there you go. You can just add things to these images. Um, just checking in with chat. All right, I know what I'm going to do and spend my weekend doing. 
adding evil towers to every landscape photo I can find. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, circular economy, cr uh, economy creating. That's right. There's so much like stuff that you can generate um, and uh, and remix as well. Uh, add a whale, Misty. All right, let's add a whale. Um, let's go in here and let's see. Let's see how we go. We we'll see. We want to add a little whale in here. What if I just type whale? See how we go. Might be a bit of trial and error today, but uh, do our best. I've, um, I was talking to Johanna before the stream and I was thinking what, um, we need to think of something to do during this generative time. Like this is obviously something that would take you hours and now it's only seconds, but it's like a good time to stretch. Um, hey, check it out. There's our, there's our little whale. This is pretty wild. So, um, I mean, that, that whale is probably a little bit too close to, um, <laughs> to the water, but you know what? I think we're cool. I think we're good. Um, a oh, poor whale, actually, that's, uh, that's doomed down. So what's interesting, it doesn't seem to be, is, uh, let's look at the tech here, what's happening. So I did this before um, and I tried to move something. I tried to move something around and then I realized um, what's happening. So I selected a rectangular marquee um, and then generative fill. So it's done the entire thing, including the background. So even though if we press command Z, that looks like it's perfectly put in and we've just created, we've just created it. Right. So I would have thought that oh, I could just pick it up and take it out, but it's done everything. It's done the background. It's done all that sort of stuff. Um, so you would need to rasterize that just as a tip for anybody else. Cause this is just something I recently discovered. Um, you would need to rasterize that layer. Um, and then you could maybe select, select this subject. I'm just going to copy it and paste it, which is the poor man's, um, D patch. Um, and then you, now we've got this kind of, if you wanted an element just to, just to throw it out there. Um, but we don't want to do that because obviously it has blended it super well into, into this background. We might move it. Why don't we do another, um, how about we get some dolphins in here? I think we want a couple of dolphins jumping in the distance. Um, uh Oh, how do you spell dolphins? <laughs> dolphins. Yeah. I think, um, I think I'm going to request a feature that is a built in spell checker. Um, I think we'll need something like that. <laughs> I saw a comment uh, today that someone said, all these years learning how to use Photoshop and now I have to learn how to spell. Um, and I think it's pretty accurate. There we go. We've got a dolphin. We didn't get dolphins, but we got a dolphin. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, none of these things existed. And I think what's interesting is going to be when if you're sharing this image online and I did a multiple choice, which of these, I mean, obviously the whale and the dolphin are probably pretty obvious, but it's like, you can very easily sort of send that to someone and say, which one of these is fake? Like which one doesn't exist? Um, and it, it, it's going to get really hard to, to be able to tell. Um, a whale fighting a ginormous spaghetti monster. All right, let's break it. Let's break it. Um, <laughs> Misty. Uh, okay, generative feel. <laughs> A whale fighting a uh, ginormous spaghetti monster. <laughs> so I don't think even if this works, it's going to be terribly realistic. Uh, but, you know, it's always fun to, to break, break everything. Let's just break stuff. Um, and if you're watching this, it'd be interesting, interested to know if this is something you're going to play around with or, <laughs> okay. It's given us kind of a, a sperm whale. Um, this is our, uh, killer whale that it looks a bit plasticky, um, might make more sense. Like, in a like, a aquarium or something, maybe that's kind of where it's sourcing the image from. Um, and that's just horrifying. So, um, so it didn't like that, uh, whale fighting, um, giant spaghetti monster. Um, but uh, we could do maybe a seaplane before we move on. And we can just redo it over the selection as well. Um, 
and as you can see, uh, it generates a new layer. So um, my head's actually in the way. So let me, I'm just gonna move my camera away for a second. If you can see where my mouse is down the bottom right, it actually creates a new layer for uh, each iteration that we do. Um, and which you can obviously turn off. You could rasterize it, you can turn it into a smart object and things like that. Um, now let's get back to our options. Not really a seaplane, um, but it is an aeroplane. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but hey, there you go. Um, so pretty crazy that you can um, add so many things. Oh, last thing before we move on is um, you can see we still have our options, our variations, um, as they as they said um, at, at, in the top right. So uh, let's get my camera back. Um, so just above me, you can see that there's um, some icons. So these are all of our old old ones. So they're not they're not gone. They're still like within the app. So if you change your mind down the track, um, you can always go back to whatever this thing is. Um, crazy. Crazy drone thing. Um, I think this aeroplane is probably the best. It's probably looks looks the nicest. Um, so there you go. There's that. Let's jump across. We'll find another example. All right. So this is a nighttime. I haven't touched this at all. I don't know how well Adobe Firefly works uh, with nighttime imagery. Um, as uh, as before, if you have any suggestions, throw them in, or I'm going to come up with a couple on the fly. Um, so we, yeah, it is going to be interesting. Um, we were chatting before about removing things. So, um, what I'd like to do is just see if we can get rid of this, uh, orange, uh, color here. Um, so I think if I just generate it, it should just remove, it tends to just remove something if you don't put a prompt in. So let's see how we go. Yeah, so this is where you stretch, do some push-ups. <laughs> Got to find something to do during this time. Look away from the screen, close your eyes. Um, yeah, okay. So we got rid of the uh, double lines there, um, which is pretty cool. Um, pizza box being carried down into the sewer. I, didn't, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. Let's try it. Uh, we're going to give it... A lot of room. We're gonna say we probably need that kind of room, I think. Um, and let let's let's try. We're gonna try both of these options, uh, Misty and Johanna. So uh, pizza box. into the sewer. This is great because I don't have to learn how to spell because I'm just literally copying what you guys are typing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is, this is a pretty wild one. These are very specific. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got just manhole cover has been replaced by pizza. Um, manhole cover is replaced by pizza box. Um, manhole cover is replaced by two pizza boxes and a pizza. Um, so I don't think that's, I don't think that's working. Um, we're going to get rid of that one. Um, thanks for the suggestion. Let's try this again. And again, it could be like just the way that I'm doing this, like maybe, maybe the type of prompts and the type of language we're using or the way that we're thinking about doing this isn't quite right. Like maybe you're better off with a street with no manhole cover and, and then doing something, or maybe you do it separately. You know, maybe you start a separate file so it's working off different algorithms and then you then you kind of merge everything together. It's going to be interesting to see the best um, like process for this and how photo manipulators use something like this. Um, but I speculate. Um, we're going to generate Misty's suggestion, which is Goblin coming out of the manhole cover. Let's see. We might get pizza boxes again. Let's see. So yeah, Photoshop beta, um, if you want to jump in there and, and play around. We were chatting recently about saving like successful prompts somewhere. Um, well, this is wild. Uh, so 
I think it's trying to kind of merge the manhole cover with some sort of creature, goblin-like creature. Um, yeah, we're getting like a sculpture out of this. A pretty evil sculpture out of this. Um, so it's replacing the manhole cover with something. So, um, you know, I might try one more time um, with these. Um, let's try just hiding that for now. And, um, like, I don't know if you just select everything. Um, um, coming out of a manhole cover. And let's see what happens. No idea what's gonna happen. We'll just see before we move on, because it's fun to experiment. Um, these images are from Unsplash, by the way. Just, I don't own the images necessarily, but it's okay to use them. Uh, okay, um, good night. That's the end of the stream. <laughs> this is horrifying. Uh, wow. Um, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> oh my God. All right, things are not going uh, according to plan. Um, I think that will be the cover art for this um, YouTube tile. So I will replace the, the cute dog uh, with whatever this creature is. Uh, let's banish that to the depths of hell. Um, okay. So yes, uh, let's get back on track uh, instead of our crazy goblin. Uh, what about people walking down the street? That is a great idea. Um, how about some people walking down the street? Some human people. Uh, let's do something like, uh, like maybe the, I guess they could be any size, right? I, I kind of trying to think about the perspective, um, as best I can. And let's see, uh, how about two people walking hand in hand down, uh, two people walking hand in hand. I think cause there's already a street. I probably don't need to say street. Um, I'm guessing, but, uh, as long as we don't get goblins, then it's an improvement on the previous, on the previous uh, prompt. I'd like a little music within Photoshop, I think, during this time, like waiting, like weight room music. That would be great. Uh, okay, so I didn't get two people for that first one. Uh, we got a dude, but it did successfully understand that it's um, to like walking um, in the direction, um, which I think is pretty cool. And if you'll notice, there's actually like a bit of shadow that we've got here. It's not perfect. It's a bit kind of cut off, um, but it's trying, but it's trying to understand that the, like where the light is coming from. Do you like, it's pretty wild. So the light is coming from, uh, everything in front of the camera. And you can tell from the shadows on the manhole cover, um, that the, that the light is coming to, towards us, the vast majority of the light. And that's why it's put the shadow like coming down here to the back and the back is dark. It's quite crazy. Um, we have two folks. It looks like they're, uh, either about to walk into each other or having an argument, uh, or one of them is moonwalking possibly. Um, and then we have some other folks. Sh this, this figure is pretty close to, I think what we want. Um, which I think is great. I think this guy is good. The middle one's not quite uh, quite happening, but I think uh, I think it's worth generating again. Um, so let's check it out. Uh, G'day, Jacqueline. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are generating things uh, with yeah generative AI in Photoshop. Um, so these lovers are walking towards us. It hasn't done the shadow thing I was talking about, which is interesting. I wonder if it's just remixing um, like everything that's going on, but that is perfect. So that's pretty much exactly what we want. We'll try this third one. No, 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 no. Um, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. So they like, I mean, that looks like they're in the photo. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Jacqueline, I think it depends on your wording. Yes, absolutely. And it's going to be interesting, like developing those skills and understanding how to communicate better uh, with the, with the robot overlords. Um, pretty crazy. Um, I think we need a car. Maybe I think we need a new car in this image. Uh, so let's test that out. So we want a generative fill, and I think we want to try to add a, um, a 
type of car or should we just add a car and see what it gives us let's 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 give it a go um i'm open to suggestions of maybe one more thing that we'll add to this add to this environment before we move along so if you've got anything uh hit me up cool so we've got a taxi uh a car that's pretty cool, except for whatever's happening up here. Um, that's pretty wild. Um, and wow, like that's that's pretty close. Um, I'm gonna do generate again. We got a clown car. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what Firefly thinks a clown car is. I'm starting to like. Think about the worst case scenarios um, <laughs> of what it could be. That looks pretty realistic, that one. Um, I think I like this version. Um, just a heads up as well. Um, if you do just continue to generate image after image, um, they will all end up here. So we've done, we've clicked generate twice. It generates three each time. And so we have six above so for whatever reason come back and oh no we really really wanted that one um then we we can do it um actually what happens if i change the prompt clown car for misty i just wonder if it adds it to the same because it's the same selection and i kept it on the same um layer which i'll show here i haven't deselected the layer um if it's created a new one or it's added it. So it's added it to here. Um, this is horrifying. Oh my goodness. Misty. <laughs> um, my goodness. Uh, I need to get back to the safety of our of our car there. Um, but there you go. There is still nightmare fuel um, within <laughs> within there. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm really sorry about the future nightmares that everyone's going to have. Um, but there you go. Uh, yeah. Let's move on from the nighttime one. Um, but yeah, pretty crazy. Hey. Um, and we'll go on to one more example. I think we'll have time for clowns are banned from the stream. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so this is the Arc de Triomphe in, um, France, obviously, uh, had a mind blank there. And, um, something that French people like to do is ride their bicycles. So we're going to see if we can add a, um, bike rider in here. I thought that would be quite cool. Um, got a photo of uh, the Arc de Triomphe with no one in it, so we can add some stuff in. And uh, any suggestions, maybe something for the top, maybe we can put something on uh, the top of the Arc de Triomphe. Um, I hope there's no French people watching the stream because I bet I'm butchering the pronunciation of that. Um, cyclist. Um, let's see. See what we get. Um, Jacqueline, this is very cool though. Yeah, it's it's pretty 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 wild, pretty wild. Um, so let's see how we go. Oh, I realized my camera was off for a while. All right, so this person is kind of hammering along. Um, uh, I don't like any of them. Uh, so uh, cyclist. Um, Basket on the front um, and a uh, bag. Oh no, bag wet. There we go, let's try that. Very specific. Um, can you add fireworks to the back or will it not work because it's daytime? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, we can find out. We've got time, we can find out together. Um, that's getting a bit closer. I'm just going to generate that again. Let's see how we go. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works with like daytime, nighttime, uh, and things like that. Because my understanding is it takes the data from the image, so it knows that it's daytime, like knows what this photo is. Um, so it might it might not work. These cyclists are not really happening. So I'm just going to try 
cyclist again. I want something kind of close enough before I move on. I don't want to kind of leave three bicycle, two human thing happening. Interesting. Struggling with cyclist, I think, I would say. I wonder if it's the type of prompts that I'm using or, or what it is. Um, uh, let's try something new. Um, don't need to do a new layer. I'll just grab this. Kind of want someone uh, taking a photo. Um, person taking a selfie with a selfie stick. I think I'm asking for too much, but we'll, we'll have a crack. Um, and then we'll try fireworks. We'll see what happens. As we generate. Um, that is not too bad. Did a much better job with that than it did with... I mean, if you zoom in, you start losing quite a lot of detail, but you could like edit that super, super easily. Excuse me. I'll zoom in again. See what else we got. Oh, and she's perfect. That's fantastic. She's got two cameras. She's double shooting. That's that's staying in. Um, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. Um, so fireworks, huh? I'm gonna go over here to the object selection tool. I'm gonna go make sure we click back down on our background. I'm gonna get rid of our friends here. And I'm just going to select um, the Arc de Triomphe. And then I'm going to select this. And I can't remember if I'm adding or minusing, so bear with me. But I'm just going to do this. If I deleted that, uh, just do color that, that. Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. Selecting the subject just fine. We're gonna get in here and just do a little bit. If I do that. Ah, I need to do that. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's what we want. And we'll go across here. Excuse my Photoshop skills. Um, it's my least used app, but um, it's got the new cool stuff in it, so I have to play around. Uh, this would be a lot easier to do with a mouse. I'm using a trackpad, and I am doing my best. All right, so now we should have this whole background selected. I might just kind of super... I mean, this is so lazy, right? Like, as you can tell, I'm not even zooming in to do this. So just, um, you know, go with the flow, guys. Uh, we said, Misty has suggested, thank you for not suggesting a goblin or a clown this time around. Can you add fireworks to the back? Um, let's find out. We're just going to try fireworks first. We can add some more detail. We can add a little bit more to the prompt. If anyone's a prompt king or queen out there that like knows exactly what I'm supposed to be punching in, please let me know. Um, bet there's some some skills required in here not bad not bad it's not perfect but that is not bad um yeah i'm down with it look at that Let's do it again. Let's see how we go. Let's push it. So it changed the entire background to nighttime, which is pretty, which is pretty nuts. Hey, Alessandra. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, cool. Look at that. <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, it kind of works. That one doesn't know what it's doing. Um, but you know, we're pretty good. It's doing some very, very, very weird things to the buildings in the background. So um, there's probably a better way, but it's trying to replace it here. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. That's um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so there you go. Good call, Misty. We can, uh, we can do that. Interesting. All right, so something just came up that I haven't discovered yet. Um, 
So remember, the order that we did this in was cyclist um, and then the person with the selfie, which is just down the bottom. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, this person with the, the selfie, who's probably my favorite. Um, and then we did the fireworks. And what's interesting is that the cyclist was generated when the background was different. So it's going to be interesting, like the order that you would need to do things in. So the order that we should have done things in um, would obviously be the background and then and then the foreground images or anything that's going to overlap. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to move on um, as much fun as that one was. Where are we? We want... Uh, maybe an example or two. Um, yeah, so this was the other thing I kind of wanted to kind of wanted to play with. Um, look at these little fantasy magical worlds. So what's that? Magical Wonderland, Surrealism, Psychedelic, Dramatic Light. Let's do um, Magical Kingdom. Uh, magical Kingdom. Um, kingdom Mushroom. So we are obviously using Adobe Firefly. Hey, by the way, if you didn't know, um, it's public now. There hasn't been a lot of talk about it because um, there's been a lot of other things to chat about. But if you didn't have access to the Firefly beta before or you requested access, you should be able to just go straight to the website now, log in using your Adobe Creative Cloud and uh, prompt away. Um, okay, cool. This is cool. Uh, oh, yeah, and there's also a new little... Uh, generative fill button here. I'll just show you what happens if you click that. It takes you straight to um, this area that we showed before where you can um, add things in. Um, I saw a really cool one before. Um, uh, let's see. Um, wooden door. I think uh, I think it was Clady. Um, Caldi did this one. Um, and it was, it was pretty cool. There's no... Um, there's no timer on this. There's no uh, thing to show you how long it's going to be. Um, but look at that. Isn't that cool? The little door. It's all in the browser. It's pretty crazy. And uh, so you could just continue to add things to this. You could continue to remove things. I mean, um, I guess we save. I haven't done this before. But if that's just the remove tool... And it just generates the background. That's pretty cool as well. You just very quickly, like using the remove tool. Um, yeah. And then, and then you get a couple of options, just like the other thing. That's really easy to do. I love that something like that is just so benign. It's just whatever, super easy. Should we try and get rid of this bad mushroom? I'm going to try and get rid of that bad mushroom. It needs a fairy. Cool. I'm glad you didn't say clown. Fairy would be good. Cool, look at that. It's gone. All right, so now you can keep it. So now we go, yep, we want that. Uh, let's download. Uh, and then you can bring it into uh, Photoshop. I just want to see if I have one prepared earlier. Yeah, so I have one prepared earlier, um, just in terms of speed, because uh, I've only got a couple minutes left. Um, you can create fairy gardens in the forest so easily. Yes, you absolutely could. Um, so this is, a, this is also a... Um, AI text image, Firefly generated image that I threw in, um, which is more of a cyberpunk uh, kind of thing. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of play around with this one, I think. Um, actually, let's do the Mushroom Kingdom one. Where'd it go? We'll do, we'll do our Mushroom one. It'll be a bit more fun. I think everyone wants... Well, I think we want a fairy, don't we? Boop. Cool. And there it is. So that's the image that we downloaded just a second ago. Um, and we've replaced the door, we tidied it up a little bit, um, and uh, we got rid of the little mushroom. If you wanted to do everything within the within Photoshop, maybe you're more comfortable, or maybe, you know, you just kind of jumped in and, and you thought, oh, there's a, I didn't like that thing. What am I doing? I think uh, we can just generative fill, and we should be able to get rid of that pretty quickly. Uh, Johanna, you could create fairy gardens in the forest so easily. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty wild. Um, so yeah, again, if you just don't put anything in the generative fill, uh, it will usually, nine times out of ten, it'll just erase it. 
use the data from around it and the machine learning data and it'll just kind of get rid of it. Which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to see if we have time to add a fairy in. Um, by the way, if this thing gets in the way, you can just drag it around. You just have to grab uh, this side bit. If you grab anywhere else, it will not move. Um, but if you grab the side, you can move it out of the way. So, um, yeah, when this goes into public and people don't want to generate, I think a lot of people are like, ah, how do I get rid of this thing? Um, but uh, that's how you move it out of the way. Uh, just a heads up. Um, and I think we want a fairy. And look how bad my selection is that I've just made here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, what do we think? Uh, what do we have? Fairy. Let's just do fairy and see what we get. I hope you're all having a great day, an evening. Okay, <laughs> disembodied uh, fairy there. No. Don't like any of them. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Let's see. Oh dear. Struggling with the fairy. Um, maybe we want like a um, magical fairy, magical like garden. Maybe it's just not enough info. I mean, some of the prompts that you see people make are like paragraphs long as well. So maybe just put not putting not giving enough information is like the worst thing you could do. Maybe it's just the more information you can give, um, the better. <laughs> not in this case. Uh, I'm kind of struggle street with a fairy. That's going to have to do it, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, um, something that was interesting as well, I thought, is if you do this, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work because you should not be removing the, um, the watermark pretty sure I hope it does now because if it removes it then I shouldn't have shown that cover your eyes <laughs> oh dear oh it did okay just ignore that um, it didn't work the other day uh, so yeah magical kingdom um, we've done a whole bunch of things let's do a quick little recap this is probably my favorite and this is what I love about it is that we're just discovering new things all the time um, thank you Misty for the prompt Look at that, it's a daytime daytime photo. There's no one in it and we can add a few people in. Uh, the cyclist doesn't match because we did it in the wrong order. So not only did we have fun, but we learned something. Um, which of these items doesn't really exist? Uh, that truck doesn't exist, does not exist. Um, these people do not exist, um, but they look like they do, don't they? Um, and this actually has these lines on the ground um, that we could easily remove. Um, if we go back to the beach, um, none of these subjects except for the surfer actually exist. Uh, so we can get rid of our whale, we can get rid of our beach house, and we can get rid of our plane and our dolphins. Um, and then here's our cute little dog, which actually is that photo. So everything on the side doesn't exist. Um, we've stretched the canvas and we've asked generative AI to, generative fill um, to fill it in for us. And uh, that's going to take us to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thanks for jumping in and helping me out with the prompts. Um, and we'll be back. We've actually got a really great live stream tomorrow uh, with um, After Effects. So hope to see you there. Uh, Johanna and I will be behind the scenes and Chris Hansen will be um, having a chat uh, to Victoria Nice. Um, and that's going to do it. If I can find my outro song. There it is. All right. Have a great time, everyone. See you later.